Hello, everybody, and welcome to Civilization 5, Brave New World, our new series. You know what? We were thinking today, and we're going to completely cut out the original Civ 5 and Civ 5 Gods and Kings. And by the way, this is Black Cobra on our new fancy projection model that I'm using back here on the little mini laptop camera setup. And the camera's right in front. I am back here. That's why I'm speaking a little bit louder than usual. And I am using the TV with the HDMI cord, and I'm setting this off, and that's why we have the TV going with our Civ 5. So, we're going to be starting this uh, new series. I'm going to do a uh, setup game. We're going to go over here. And I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to take a little bit to look through everyone. Uh, the new thing about this game is that they have included the World Congress now. So you can talk to people and set up decisions in courts. Here are some new people like Enrico Dandaldo of Venice. You get a Merchant of Venice. You get then there's Gajamada of Indonesia. Uh, he's got a Chris Swordsman and a Kanad. Oh, wow, Enrico has the Great Gallus and the Merchant of Venice. Which can only be used in with hand. And then there's the, the Mahal Safari and the Stahal. That's ha Hali Selassie of Ethiopia. Then I think she's new. Yeah, Maria the First of Portugal. She's got the Nau and the Fiatora. Then there's Pedro. Pedro the Second of for Brazil, and he's got the the part the part Sinha and the Brazil Wood Camp. Then there's Juan Catello of the Shoshan, and he's got the Pathfinder, which is like a scout, and the Kamasha Rider, which is like a, like an archer, right? Like a horseback archer. Then there's Shock Zulu. And then he's got the Impa and the Iconda. So I think, I think I'm going to be him. I'm going to be Shaka Um, What do you think I should do? You think I should do a Fractal, Ar Archipelago, Pangea? I'm going to go with Continents again. Because I like that one. That was good. Um. No. I'm just gonna tie it again. You said three, right? And bases. Go to advanced setup. Okay, go to a uh, map type. Because map type? in the no, up there. Because in, in the last game it had a bunch of other yeah. Oh, ancient lakes. All land region featuring a larger, large crater lake in the middle. Continent, areas, four corners. This map is sectioned into four equal sections separated by water, with land in the very middle. Alright. Great Plains. Region similar to the Great Plains of North America, but with random elements level. Oh. With random elements. A large region dominated by hills and mountain ranges. That's gonna be fun. A severely glaciated world where only regions near the equator are habitable. Oh Jesus, it's the Hunger Games. Inland Sea! All inlet all land region that has a very large saltwater sea in the in the center. North versus south. A region split horizontally by a desert. Doesn't that sound like fun? By a desert. Oh, an oval shaped Pangea with random bays carving into the sides. Pangea. Each civilization gets its own subcontinent. All are connected in clockwise fashion to adjacent neighbors. Skirmish. Balance map designed for two players. The world will consist of a few medium land masses and some small islands. Terra. Very large world similar to Earth where all civilizations start on, a con on the continent. A keen. To Asia, Europe, and Africa. 
wide channel of water. That seems interesting. Yeah, we can split <laughs> vertically down the middle. A wide channel of water. We've got a lot of choices. Yeah, I know, right? I think... I, I most likely really, really want to do north versus south or west versus east. I don't know which would be more challenging though, crossing a desert? I would say west versus east because if it's if it's a wide channel of water you probably need boats, optics, and then astronomy to get across. Yeah. So until you get those technologies you're stuck on your half yeah. and you might be stuck alone, you might you you might be stuck with one other person. You could be stuck with two other people too. Yeah. Or they could be all four of you on one side, and then there's just this one side that's not that hasn't been tapped. Uh tiny warlord standard modern era. No. Oh yeah. Wait. No. No. Ancient. Ancient era. Four billion years old. Everything or can else I... looks good. Aw, I can't make it younger. Temperate. Temperature. Temperate. Can I make it cool. I don't care. Here's Rainfall? Ooh, I want to make wet. Come on, kid. Resources. That's a legendary start. That sounds like awesomeness. I should keep it at That doesn't matter. Yeah, that doesn't matter. And that, wait, uh, wait, what? do you want say, eight to city states? No. Why not? No city states? Well, maybe two. Let me. Four. Four seems good. And then uh, scroll scroll all the way down. Do you want random personalities or? What's random personalities? Like, if you're facing Gandhi, you know Gandhi's gonna be more of a peaceful. Oh, but okay. if you put on random personalities. And if I meet Gandhi, he's gonna nuke me like in that YouTube video. It's said? a it's a it's a possibility. So every so you, so you can't automatically assume that. That 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 um, civilization is always like this. So yeah. it'll be random. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna have the no I'm gonna have the no barbarians. I, I really hate barbarians so much. I'd rather just focus on the people and not the barbarians, wouldn't you? So all that is complete chaos. Oh, so in order to be eliminated from the game, a player must have all his cities and unit. That sounds really challenging too, don't you think? In order to eliminate to be eliminated from the game, a player must have all of his cities and units destroyed. Does that mean they have to be raised? Or does that mean they have to be controlled? I have no clue. I never tried that. Look at this! Raging Barbarians! <laughs> One city challenge. Human players are only allow are only ever allowed to build or own one city oh my god you know how hard that would be to have one city like holy crap uh, I think we're good hmm. it should be good yeah no worries wait changing the leader's name totally forgot about this Make sure you make it capitalize the to make it look official. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cobra. Oh, wait. Black Cobra. Then we called the Cobros. Cobros. And what's a uh, civilization adjective? The people. Like oh. in Rome, they were Romans. No, they they're the Cobros. The 
so everyone's a cobra. I think I should. I think I should change the civilization's name. Civilization's name? What to what? I don't know. Something other than black cobras. Uh, what should you think should call them? I'm gonna call Cobra. it the man cave. I'm gonna call it the man cave. Alright. Man cave. Wait, is man cave one or two words? Two. Man cave. Man cave. Oh, that seems good. Yeah. And this would be caveman. Nope. Yeah, nope. Cave. Oh, oh, capsize on. Keep it. Bam! That works. The cobra is in. Mm, start. Oh my gosh. Look at this man. He's got a mustache. He beat. So let's begin. These Cobra, Cobra's Warriors. I don't want to see you Excuse me. Excuse me, but do you mind wiping my ass? Actually, I do mind. I am money. No ancient ruins? That's very rude. Alright, let's go on an adventure. Don't you think it would be nice if we went on an adventure? Oh, really? Already? Already? Jesus Christ. He's a very he's a very he's a very nice man, don't you think? I mean look at his wide eyes and uh his, his little rapist eyes. Don't you think he's very nice? I mean, holy crap. Oh I knew there were ancient ruins. Oh. Damn you! <laughs> you bastard! Oh my god! Really? See, I told you this is gonna happen too. Oh my god. Oh! Alright, I got Spearman! Wait, come on! I always get the bad luck, so where did he meet him? Where is he? Where did he I think he was the one that took your ruins. No, that was the Jaguars. Those are the Jaguar guys. That was the Aztecs. I don't know. It's weird. First, I get some wide-eyed guy going, and Then I get... There he is! No. Fuckhead. Well, it looks like you're on the same side of at least two of them. This sucks. So this is obviously the edge of the map, too. So you're on the west. Yeah. Oh my god! Darius? 
So I'm on the same side with all four people. Looks like it. Mm. And you and you met them all within the first six turns, so you can only imagine like how close your capitals are to each other. I know. So that's not <laughs> That's not good at all. I mean, come on. Do I really need punishment that badly? And there's no way I'll be able to get out of here, too, unless I study the optics. Because remember you said I need optics and astronomy to get out of there. You see, now you get now you get four instead of three now. Oh, okay, guys. Well, you obviously can understand my frustrations. I am going to choose. Uh, I'm actually going to choose piety. I'm going to adopt that social policy. I'm going to finish moving my. My guys. Oh, safe state. Great. More people I get to meet. Choose a production. And go up the granary, and that will end my turn there. I have six turns until animal husbandry. Just picked the granary. I currently have only one unit. I have met all four people. I have met all four. Right now, wait, give me two seconds. I have met everyone from the Aztecs to the Persians. And the Iroquois, so let's see how it all turns out together in this new series of Civ Civilization 5 Brave New World. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys later.